Many that believe C.S. Lewis being a devout Christian infused his books with Christian symbolism. This made me curious because The Chronicles of Narnia is one of my favorite fantasy worlds. I highly recommend you to read or watch The Chronicles of Narnia before you go any further into this video. Even if you have watched it, revisiting it after this will definitely put things in a new light. Lucy's discovery of the world in her wardrobe is similar to the real-life discoveries of land and peoples who were seen as in need of deliverance. Mr. Tumnus reveals to Lucy that because of the White Witch, it's always been winter, never Christmas. And this delay in celebration of Christ is the tragedy. The four Pevensey siblings are constantly referred in the story as the sons of Adam and daughters of Eve, which imply their lineage to the first man and woman God created. But seeing them as saviors even in a world filled with magical creatures justifies the anthropocentric argument that humans have the right to rule the world. The eating of the Turkish delight has been likened to the time Adam and Eve ate the red forbidden fruit. This indicates the fall of man, and in this story, that which turns Edmund against his family and himself. On the way to meet Aslan, the siblings hear and experience his power and miracles, which chips away at their own disbeliefs about him. By this regard, Aslan has been repeatedly perceived as Jesus Christ. Aslan rescues Edmund from the White Witch, who then reminds him that all traitors belong to her. In this way, she is an allegory for Satan, to whom sinners belong when they are sent to hell. Knowing this to be true, Aslan makes a deal with the White Witch that allows her to kill him in Edmund's place. When the time comes, he is taunted, shamed, humiliated and killed. But when the sun rises, the stone table cracks in two and Aslan is resurrected. This is the most important metaphor. This represents the crucifixion of Jesus Christ who died for man and his subsequent glorious resurrection. The stone table is also a biblical reminiscent of the stone tablets bearing the Ten Commandments given to Moses by God. This resurrection is what emboldens and empowers the final battle in which Aslan and the four siblings emerge victorious, confirming that belief in Christ will only prove to be favourable. It amazes me how the stories today are all just retellings of stories before our time. Our role on this earth is perhaps to play our part. Maybe Walt Whitman was right when he wrote, the powerful play goes on and you may contribute to worse.